梁歌制作，一个情妇的日记，作者卢隐。9月3日早晨，我在那间公事房里碰见他。哎，当时我用着极甜蜜的心情，低声唤着仲谦，他的名字，当然他是不曾听见。梁歌制作，一个情妇的日记，作者卢隐。9月3日早晨，我在那间公事房里碰见他。当时我用着极甜蜜的心情，低声唤着仲谦，他的名字，当然他是不曾听见。Production by Liang Gu, The Diary of a Mistress Author, Lu Yin. September 3rd. I met him in that office room in the morning. Alas, at that time I called Zhong Qian, his name in a low voice with great sweetness, but of course he never heard it. Production by Liang Gu, The Diary of a Mistress Author, Lu Yin. September 3rd. I met him in that office room in the morning. Alas, at that time I called Zhong Qian, his name in a low voice with great sweetness, but of course he never heard it. 并且所有的人都不会听见，因为他们都若无其事的招呼我。今天他身上穿了一件银灰色的夹衣，洁白而清秀的面庞发出熠熠的神采，静默地伏在岸上写一些什么报告。And none of them will hear me, because they all greet me as if nothing happened. Today he was wearing a silver gray jacket. His white and delicate face was full of energy, and he was silently leaning on the case to write some report. 他见我走了进去，抬头向我招呼了一下，那双伸到世界上测速器也不能探到底的眼睛，那里面有神秘，有爱情，有生命，碎纸轻轻地向我身上投来，但是我是被他所炫惑了。When he saw me walking in, he raised his head and greeted me. Those eyes that were so deep that even the calculator in the world could not penetrate them to the bottom. There was mystery, love, and life in them, although they only looked at me gently. Body, but I was dazzled by it. 一股热烈的压迫的情绪从心底升上来，我几乎发昏，只好靠在一张椅背上，我才勉强支住我的身体。昨天才从箱里拿出来的夹大衣，这时正好穿，我换了一件淡绿色的夹袍。A warm and oppressive emotion rose from the bottom of my heart, and I almost fainted. I had to lean on the back of a chair to barely support my body. I just took out the coat from the box yesterday, and it was time to wear it. I changed into a light green coat and put on the coat. 在黄昏的光影中，出了家门。在路上，我看见一个男人，他的后影活像重铅。我连忙加紧脚步，赶到面前，仔细一看，原来是个陌生人。这真叫我脸红。我连忙跳上一部电车，躲开了。我说 ：“I left the house in the dusk light and shadow. I saw a man on the road. His silhouette looked like Zhong Qian.” I quickly stepped up and rushed to him. After a closer look, I saw that he was a stranger. This really made me blush. I quickly jumped on a tram to avoid him. I said, "You 猜猜看，我知道他的脾气是越积越僵，便连忙柔声下气的哀求道：‘林子子，别生气吧。’”你告诉我是哪个？我还有别的要紧话同你商量咧。我是住在一所两楼两底的亭子间，这间屋子。Guess what? I knew that her temper was becoming more and more agitated, so I quickly begged in a soft voice, "Sister Ling, don't be angry. Tell me which one it is. I have something else to discuss with you." I live in a pavilion with two floors and two floors. This room. 前面对着一堵高楼
，窗子朝北开，西风阵阵吹进来，由不得使我发生一种秋味道先飘零的叹息。况且今天我心绪是这样颓唐，走进屋，我便倒在床上，我希望众迁到我的梦里来。Facing a tall building in front, the window opens to the north, and the west wind blows in, which makes me sigh like autumn has not arrived yet. Besides, my mood was so depressed today. When I walked into the house, I fell on the bed. I hoped that Zhong Qian would come to my dream. 哪一天我能睡在他的怀抱里，就是死也觉得甜蜜的。我找到一份报纸，正想找些谈话的机会，但他们都像是忙得很，匆匆的写，忙忙的看。后来中签又被一个电话叫了去。One day I can sleep in his arms, and even death will feel sweet. I found a newspaper and was looking for a chance to talk, but they all seemed very busy, writing and reading in a hurry. Later. Zhong Qian was called again by phone. 我送他到了大门口，想同他谈两句，可是我的心跳得太厉害，话竟不能即刻吐出。于是时间，这残酷的东西，在他不停息的转动中，那可爱的中签的身影已在电车上了。我只得叹口气。I walked him to the gate and wanted to talk to him for a few words. But my heart was beating so hard that I couldn't speak out immediately. So the cruel thing of time, in its non-stop rotation, the lovely Zhong Qian's the figure is already on the tram. I could only sigh. 愿我的命运不计，闷闷回到寄宿舍去。他猜了好几个，但都不是，因为这几个人里没有中签。瑞玲因为猜不着。他要想知道的心更切，他叫我暗示他一些，我的心正在跳。I blamed my bad luck and went back to the boarding house. She made several guesses, but none of them were true because there was no Zhong Qian among them. Ruiling couldn't guess, and she wanted to know more. She asked me to give her some hints, and my heart was beating. 我恨不得就把那美丽的悦耳的“中签”两个字送到他耳壳里去，可是我终于怕羞，只这样隐隐约约地说：“他是一个又漂亮又潇洒的男人，而且他的品格好像苍翠的松柏，明朗的秋月。” I wanted to send those beautiful and melodious words Zhong Qian into her ears, but in the end, I was shy and could only say vaguely, "He is a beautiful and handsome man." And his character is like the green pines and cypresses and the bright autumn moon. 我爱他，深切的爱他，但是他已经结了婚，而且他同太太的感情又很好。在瑞玲那里吃过夜饭，他很恳切的问我道：“你所爱的究竟是哪一个？”哎，这是多么美丽的字眼呢，仲谦。I love him. Deeply, but he is already married, and his relationship with his wife is very good. After dinner at Ruiling's place, she asked me sincerely, "Which one do you love?" Alas, what a beautiful word this is, Zhong Qian. 我含着深唇的笑向他点头。傍晚时，我从床上被一阵乌鸦的啼声所惊醒。起来。揉着眼，看见桌上放着一封信，连忙拆开来看，原来是瑞玲寄给我的。她邀我今晚到她那里谈谈。来 ，I nodded to her with a deep smile. In the evening, I was awakened from my bed by the crow of a crow. I got up, rubbed my eyes, and saw a letter on the table. I quickly opened it and read it. It turned out that it was sent to me by Ruiling. She invited me to come to her place to talk tonight. Come. 我告诉你吧，中签是不是？瑞玲含笑说
。哦，我晓得了。瑞玲这样叫着，拍了我的肩膀一下。美娟，你的眼光果然不错，他可以算得是一个又运界又有胆识的男子。你别再故意的套我。Let me tell you, Zhong Qian, right? Ruiling said with a smile. Dot. Oh. I understand," Ruiling shouted and patted me on the shoulder. "Mei Wan, you really have a good sense. He can be regarded as a man who is sophisticated and courageous. Don't be so mean. Trap me." 究竟是哪一个？我这样逼着瑞玲问，她只笑嘻嘻的不作声。我到底不相信她真猜的对，便又说道。我想你一定猜不着，不然你为什么不说出名字来？你不要激我，就算我猜不着吧。Which one is it? I forced Roiling to ask. She just smiled and remained silent. I didn't believe that she really guessed it right, so I said again, "I don't think you can guess it. Otherwise, why didn't you tell me the name? Don't provoke me." Even if I can't guess it, he 假作生气地说，在灯影下，我把我对众千热烈的爱慕全向瑞玲表白了。瑞玲说，众千恐怕还不知道呢。这当然是对的，不过知道不知道，并不影响我对他的爱。我是一个方在青春的少女。She said with fake anger, under the shadow of the lamp. I confessed my passionate love for Zhong Qian to Ruiling. Ruiling said, "I'm afraid Zhong Qian doesn't know yet. This is, of course, right, but knowing or not does not affect my love for him. I am a young girl in her youth." 天赋给我热烈的情绪，而我向任何人身上倾注，那是我的自由。他有没有反应，那也是另外的问题。不过，我同时也极希望他给我个热烈的反应。九月七日，今天我下决心要给众千写信。My talent gives me passionate emotions, and it is my freedom to pour myself into anyone. Whether he responds is another question, but at the same time, I also desperately hope that he will give me a passionate response. September seventh. Today I made up my mind to write a letter to Zhong Qian. 虽然我们天天都有见面的机会，不过却少谈话的机会。他太忙，件件事都需他的斟酌。哎，他是个多么多才多艺的人呀，还不止他的样子可爱呢。清晨起来。Although we have the opportunity to meet every day. We rarely have the opportunity to talk. He is too busy. Everything needs his consideration. Alas, what a versatile man he is! Not only is he cute in appearance. Get up early in the morning. 我就把昨夜买来的漂亮信纸铺在桌上，那是一张紫罗兰色的洋信笺。我拿了一杆自来水笔，斟酌了很久。我不知道怎样称呼他好。我想写这先生可是太客气了，写名字又太不客气了。I spread the beautiful letter paper I bought last night on the table. It was a piece of violet foreign letter paper. I took a fountain pen and thought about it for a long time. I didn't know how to call him. I wanted to write Sir, but it was too polite. It's too rude to write your name. 我想我还是来个没头没脑吧。哎，一张纸一张纸的被我撕了团了。我还是不曾把信写好。想来我是太没有艺术天才了，所以我写不出我内心的热情。可是天知道，越写不出。I guess I'd better be clueless. Alas. I tore each piece of paper into pieces, but I still couldn't finish the letter. I guess I have no artistic talent, so I can't write about my inner passion. 
But God knows you will not be able to write it. 我内心的燃烧越猛烈，我几次抛下笔，要想去找中签，我不顾一切，将它紧紧的抱在怀里。我吻它，无论什么地方。我要使蜜吻如雨点般的落在它的梗子上、脸上、口角上。哎，我发狂了。The burning inside me grew stronger. I put down my pen several times to find Zhong Qian. I desperately held him tightly in my arms. No matter where I kiss him, I want the kisses to rain down on his neck, face, and mouth. Oh, I'm going crazy. 我放下纸笔，我跑到门外，我整个的心脊柱在这上面。命运真会捉弄人。偏偏中签又出去了。我坐在他的办公处，整整等了三个钟头，他始终没有来，我只好丧气的回家了。I put down the pen and paper, ran out the door, and focused my entire attention on this. Destiny really plays tricks on people, but Zhong Qian went out again. I sat in his office and waited for three hours, but he never came. So I had to go home frustrated. I plan to write a song of love to praise him. I thought for the half hour there were only two words: "I love you." For love, my soul will always be your desire. The fire is burning in your eyes. I pulled out a small note of blue pen. I planned to write a love song to praise him, and after thinking about it, I planned to write a love song to praise him, and after thinking about it for a long time. I only had two sentences. For love, my soul will always be your prisoner. I will kneel in front of you obediently and quietly. I pulled out a small piece of light red letterhead from the drawer. 把这两句话写在上面，同时把一卷人家寄给中签的报纸收在一起，预备明天早晨送给他去，一切布置妥帖了。我静静地倒在床上，这时天色已经暗下来了，小小的房间里已充满了黑暗。Write these two sentences on it, and at the same time collect a volume of newspapers sent to Zhong Qian and prepare to send them to him tomorrow morning, and everything is arranged properly. I fell on the bed quietly. It was already dark, and the small room was filled with darkness. 但我不愿拧亮电灯，只闭着眼，悄悄地在织起那美丽的幻梦。恍惚间，众千已站在我的面前，我连忙起来，握紧他的手。呀，众千！我用力地扑了前去。忽然，我的臂部感到痛疼，连忙定神。But I didn't want to turn on the light. I just closed my eyes and quietly weaved that beautiful dream. Zhong Qian was standing in front of me in a trance. I stood up quickly, held his hand tightly. Ah, Zhong Qian! I rushed forward with all my strength. Suddenly, I felt pain in my arm and quickly calmed down. 原来是一个梦，屋子里除了黑暗一无所有。难道众千是躲在这暗影里吗？有了这一面，我不能不跳起来，开亮了电灯。一阵强烈的光把所有的幻梦打破了。It turned out to be a dream. There was nothing in the house but darkness. Is Zhong Qian hiding in the shadows? With this thought, I had to jump up and turn on the light. A burst of strong light broke all the illusions. 只见一间摆着一些简陋的家具的小屋子，冷清、寒苍的环境包围着一个怀人的少女。哎，真无聊呀！九月八日，我已经把那张纸条送给了众千，不晓得他看了有什么感想。I saw a deserted and shabby environment of a small room with some simple furniture, surrounded by a pregnant girl. Oh. How boring! September eighth.
I have given that note to Zhong Qian. I wonder what he thought after seeing it. I hope he returned the note. I hope he writes me a letter back. So I didn't go out all day. I'm afraid that when the letter comes, no one will receive it. But until the evening, there was still no news. How anxious this makes me. I was putting on my coat and preparing to go to his residence to find him. 忽然听见有人在敲我的房门，哪一个？请进来！我高声应着，果然眼看门打开了，原来是有鱼，一个中年的男子，是我们团体的同志。我不知道他来干什么，想来总是关于团体工作的交涉吧。Suddenly I heard someone knocking on my door. Which one? Please come in. I responded loudly. Sure enough, the door opened and it turned out to be Yoyu, a middle-aged man who was a comrade in our group. I don't know what he's here for. I guess it's always about group work, right? I took a seat and asked him to sit down. He took out a cigarette from his pocket, took out a cigarette, and said, You look very bad these two days, isn't it? 我这样真诚地说出了我的心，有鱼似乎是未曾料到。I pulled out a chair and asked him to sit down. He took out a cigarette box from his arms, and while taking the cigarette, he said, "You seem to have been in low spirits these past two days." I expressed my heart sincerely, and Yu Yu seemed not to have expected it. He turned his eyes to me and looked at me. 停了很久，他才沉着地说道：“自然人是有感情的动物，有时要被感情的权威所压服也是很自然的。不过，同时人也是有理智的动物。我总希望你能用冷静的理智。” He looked at me with surprised eyes, and after a long pause, he said calmly, "Naturally, humans are animals with emotions." And it is natural to sometimes be overwhelmed by the authority of emotions, but at the same time, humans are also rational animals. I always hope you can use calm reason. 压下那热烈的感情，因为你也是很有见识的女子，自然很明白事理。有鱼燃着烟，又沉吟了半晌，才说道：“今天我看见仲谦。”他心里很感激你对他的情谊，不过呢，他家里已经有太太。Suppress those passionate feelings, because you are also a very knowledgeable woman, so you naturally understand the truth. Yu Yu lit the cigarette and pondered for a while before saying, "I saw Zhong Qian today, and he was very grateful. Your affection for him. However, he already has a wife at home." 而且他们夫妇间的感情也很好，同时他又是我们团体的负责人，当然他不愿意如一般人一样实行那变形的一妻一妾制，这不但是对你不起，也对于他的夫人不起。And the relationship between them as a couple is also very good. At the same time, he is the person in charge of our group. Of course. He is not willing to practice the deformed monogamy and concubine system like other people. This is not only disgraceful to you, but also disgraceful to his wife. So his meaning is to want you to find another wife for him. His this way of thinking is even more absurd. I think my throat is a little stuffy. My voice is a little shaky. 我紧紧低低的应了一声：“是，没有什么呀。” So what he means is that he hopes you find another like-minded lover. 
His words made me even more confused. I felt my throat was a little choked and my voice was trembling. I just responded in a low voice, yes. Nothing. 我有些脸红了，因为他同众谦是好朋友，莫非他已知道我的秘密吗？我向他脸上一望时，更使我不安。他满脸踌躇的神色弄得我的心禁不住砰砰的跳动。当然，这些事情我早就知道。I blushed a little because he and Zhong Qian were good friends. Could it be that he already knew my secret? When I looked at his face, it made me even more uneasy. The hesitant look on his face made my heart beat fast. Of course, I already knew these things. But I always only love him in this world. I don't want him to divorce his wife, nor do I want him to marry me. Fate has been arranged this way for a long time, don't I understand? But, Yu Yu, you have to understand me, maybe this is a bad fate. 我自从见了他以后，我就是热烈的敬他，爱他。到现在，我自己已经把自己置在情网里。除非我离开这个世界，我是无法摆脱的。你有什么事情吗？我到底忍不住向他问了。不错。Ever since I met him, I have admired and loved him passionately, and now I have woven myself into a web of love. Unless I leave this world, I cannot escape it. What's the matter with you? I finally couldn't help but ask him. Dot, not bad. 是有一点事情，不过我要预先声明，我对于你的为人一切都很谅解。我今天要来和你谈谈，也正因为我是谅解你才敢来，所以一切的话都是很真诚的。也希望你不要拿我当外人。There is something wrong, but I want to state in advance that I understand everything about your behavior. I want to come to talk to you today, and it is precisely because I understand you that I dare to come, therefore, everything I say is very sincere. And I hope you won't treat me as an outsider. 难道我不晓得是极冠冕堂皇吗？我当时说不出什么来。当他走后，我便伏在床上痛哭了。哎，从今天起，我要有感情的囚牢里解放我自己。九月十五日，算了。Let's take a long-term view. Don't I know that you use words are extremely high-sounding? I couldn't say anything at the time. After he left, I lay on the bed and cried bitterly. Alas, from today on, I will be imprisoned by emotions. Free myself. September fifteenth. Forget it. 我在这世界上真受够了蹂躏。几天以来，我似乎被人从高山巅推到深渊里去，那里没有同伴，没有希望，没有生命。我要这躯壳何用？不知什么时候，我是被几个朋友从街心把我扶了回来。I have really had enough of being ravaged in this world. For a few days, I seem to be pushed from the top of the mountain to the abyss, where there are no companions, no hope, and no life. What use do I need this body? At some point, a few friends helped me back from the middle of the street. 难道我真受了伤吗？我抬起两只手看过，没有一点伤的痕迹。两只腿、前胸、后背、头脸，我都细细检查过。总而言之，全身肉还是一样的好。那么我怎么会睡在街心呢 ？Am I really hurt? 
I raised my hands and looked at them. There was no sign of any injury. I carefully inspected both legs, chest, back, head and face. All in all, the whole body meat is still as good, so why am I sleeping in the middle of the street? I thought for a long time, I think I forgot a little bit. When I got out of the office, I felt a little bit of a panic. I thought about it for a long time. I thought about it for a long time and seemed to remember it. When I came out of Zhong Qian's office, I suddenly felt confused. I probably just lay down like that, right? Thinking of this, I looked up and saw Ruailing sitting in front of me, her brows furrowed. Lu Chu very unsettled looks at me. Mei Juan, now you are calm again, right? Oh, how did you get to this level? I grabbed Ruailing's hand, but my eyes couldn't hold down. I shivered and said, "Ling Zi, how did you get to this level?" 我刚才怎么会睡在街心的啊？我自己一点都不清楚。She looked at me with a very uneasy expression. Mei Wan, wake up now. Oh, how could we get to this point? I held Ruailing's hand and couldn't help but shed tears in my eyes. I choked and said, "Ling sister, I don't know why I slept in the middle of the street just now." 不知我究竟，瑞玲的话使我又羞愧又悲伤。哎，我恨不得立刻死去。我是这样一个热情的、固执的女孩，我爱了她，我永远只爱她。在我这一生里，我只追求这一件事，一切的困苦羞辱。I don't know what I am. Rowling's words made me feel ashamed and sad. Alas, I wish I could die immediately. Dot. I am such a passionate and stubborn girl. I loved him, and I will only love him forever. In my life, I only pursue this one thing: all hardships and humiliations. I want the love of God. I only want to have His love. My heart is so full that I can cry. Mei Juan, you are too cruel. I don't know how much you are suffering in your heart. 大家从中签那里走出来时，原是好好的，忽然砰的一声响。I am willing to love obediently. As long as I can possess him, heart and body, I will be willing to break into pieces. Alas, Mei Wan, you are so crazy. I don't know how you are tortured in your heart. When everyone walked out of Zhong Qian's place, they were fine. But suddenly there was a bang. 回头见你昏厥在地上，后来文天把你抬到车上时，你便大声的叫众千，这真把我吓坏了。瑞玲陪着我到夜晚，他才回去。临走时，他还劝我解脱。但是天知道，在人间只有这一个至宝。I looked back and saw you fainted on the ground. Later. When Wen Tian carried you to the car, you called Zhong Qian loudly, which really frightened me. Ruailing stayed with me, and she didn't go back until night. Before leaving, she even advised me to free myself. But God knows there is only this one treasure in the world. 热烈的甚至疯狂的爱，假使我能解脱他，就什么也都可解脱了。换句话说，我的生命也可不要了。九月二十日，我对于中签的苦恋已成了公开的秘密了。许多人在讥笑我，在批评我。Passionate and even crazy love. If I can get rid of it, I can get rid of everything. In other words, I don't need my life. September twentieth. My bitter love for Zhong Qian has become an open secret. Many people are laughing at me and criticizing me. 也有许多人巴巴地跑到我家里，苦苦地劝我
恶意好意我一概不能接受，除非中签死了，我不在这人间去追求他，不然什么话都是白说。一个孩子要想吃一块糖。There are also many people who rushed to my house and tried to persuade me. I can't accept any malicious intentions. Unless Zhong Qian is dead and I don't pursue him in this world, otherwise all my words will be in vain. A child wants I want to eat a piece of candy. He gets the best of 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 the best. 永无成功的希望。我将在众千爱的怀抱筑起人类幸福之塔。瑞灵骂我执迷不悟，我情愿忍受。The less he gets, the more he hopes for it. I am in the same situation. All great undertakings in the world have no hope of success except the cultivation of love. I will build a tower of human happiness in Zhong Qian's loving embrace. Ruiling scolded me for being stubborn, but I was willing to endure it. 上帝保佑我，并给我最大的勇气吧。今晚我决定去找仲谦。九月二十一日，昨夜我坐在仲谦的身旁，虽然他是那样矜持，但是当我将温软的身躯投向他怀里时 ，God bless me and give me the greatest courage. Tonight, I decided to go find Zhong Qian. September twenty-first. Last night, I sat next to Zhong Qian, although he was so reserved. But when I threw my soft body into his arms, 我偷眼望他，有一种不平常的眼波在漾溢着。他不会像别的男人一样鲁莽，然而他是静默的在忍受爱情的宰割。夜色已经很深了，他镇静地对我说：“美娟，我的生命是另有所寄托。” I secretly glanced at him, and there was an unusual wave of emotion in his eyes. He will not be as reckless as other men, but he is silently enduring the slaughter of love. It was already dark at night, and he calmly said to me, "May Wan, I have other plans for my life." 爱情是无法维系我的，我们永远是个好朋友吧。而且我不愿因一时的冲动，不负责任的破坏一个处女的贞操。话虽是这样说，但我仍希望你稍微冷静些，不要为一时情感所炫惑。Love cannot sustain me. Let's be good friends forever. And I don't want to irresponsibly destroy a virgin's virginity due to impulse. Having said that, I still hope you can calm down a little and don't be dazzled by temporary emotions. 我告诉你吧，钟武谦，在这世界上，你竟能碰到一个以爱情为生命的女儿，她情愿牺牲一切应有的权利，不要你对她负什么责任。他此生做你一个忠心的情妇，这难道不是奇迹吗？ Yeah. Let me tell you, Zhong Qian. In this world, you can actually meet a daughter whose life is love. She is willing to sacrifice all her rights and does not want you to take any responsibility for her. She will be your loyal mistress for the rest of her life. Isn't this a miracle? Dot ah. This is really a miracle. I don't wait for him to say it again. He just calls it that. What miracle? He looks at me strangely. No, it's not a sudden feeling. You know that you've been nurturing me for three years. At first, I was silent, shielding myself, ignoring him. What a miracle! I didn't wait for him to finish. So I called like this. Dash dot. What miracle! He looked at me inexplicably. No, it's definitely not a momentary emotion. You know that you are in my heart and have been supporting me for three years. At first, I tried my best to restrain and keep silent. 
，但是有什么益处呢？只把我的声去消沉了，一切的希望摧毁了。我想能救我的只有这一条路。哎，我多么骄傲呀！当我拥抱这众千时，我的心花怒放了。But what are the benefits? It only depressed my interest in life and destroyed all my hopes. I thought this was the only way to save me. Oh, how proud I am! When I hugged Zhong Qian, my heart was filled with joy. My eyes saw the most beautiful, most harmonious colors in the world. My ears heard the most mysterious, most peaceful sounds. The universe and everything in this moment changed color, just as when the sun came to the earth. 那样的温和灿烂。十月五日 ，My eyes see the most beautiful and harmonious colors in the world. My ears hear the most mysterious and peaceful songs. Everything in the universe changed color at this moment, just like when the spring god came to the world. It was as gentle and brilliant. October fifth. 我现在逃出苦闷的漩涡了。我快乐，我得意，我已占有了我所认为人间至宝的重钱。虽然我是失去了处女的尊严和一个公开妻子的种种的权利，但这又算什么呢 ？Now I have escaped from the whirlpool of depression. I am happy and proud. I have taken possession of Zhong Qian, who I consider to be the most precious treasure in the world. Although I have lost the dignity of a virgin and all the rights of an open wife, but what does that mean? 只要我是追求到我身心所爱慕的东西，我便是人间最幸福的人了。昨夜，我把一朵白玫瑰花放在枕边，因为那花是众千买给我的，同时它的颜色，它的倾向。As long as I pursue what I deeply love. I will be the happiest person in the world. Last night, I put a white rose next to my pillow because Zhong Qian bought it for me, because of its color and fragrance. 处处都可以象征我的情人的风度性格，所以我吻着温馨的花瓣，走进甜蜜的梦乡中了。十月六日，我从醒来后，只是望着小玻璃窗外的天空出神。真的，我有时不相信多缺陷的人间。Everything can symbolize my lover's demeanor and character, so I kissed the warm petals and walked into a sweet dream. October sixth. After I woke up, I just stared at the sky outside the small glass window in trance. Really. Sometimes I don't believe in the flawed human world. 竟有这样。使人如愿惬意的事情，因此我常怀疑这仅仅也是一个梦。于是我努力地揉着我惺忪的睡眼，再细看看我温柔的手腕，那上面却然还留有重千井上的箱子。呵，这明切的事实。There is such a satisfying thing. So I often suspect that this is just a dream. So I rubbed my sleepy eyes hard and took a closer look at my gentle wrist. The fragrance from Zhong Qian's neck was indeed still there. Oh, this is a clear fact. 使我狂喜，我悄悄地亲吻着那壁上的香泽，我的心是急切地搏动着呢。从床上爬起来，一缕艳丽的阳光正射到我的脸上。秋天的晴空真是又明净又爽快。我从衣架上 ，makes me ecstatic. I quietly kissed the fragrance on that arm, my heart beating eagerly. When I got up from the bed, a ray of bright sunshine was shining on my face. The clear autumn sky is really clear and refreshing. I picked it up from the clothes hanger. 拿下新做的淡绿色的夹衣，着好，薄薄的施了一些脂粉，站在那面灵花镜前，我有些微醉了
，尤其是我想到中签那一双明俊的眼波时，我是吃软了，呆呆的倚在床栏旁。I took off my newly made light green jacket and put it on, applied a thin layer of powder, and stood in front of the rhombus mirror, feeling a little tipsy. Especially when I thought of Zhong Qian's bright eyes, I became soft and leaned against the bed rail blankly. 忽然一声呜呜的汽笛响，到门口就停住了。这是谁呢？我连忙跑到窗前去望，呵，我的心更跳得厉害了。我顾不得换拖鞋，连忙下楼去迎接我的情人钟谦。同时，我觉得他特地坐了汽车来。Suddenly, a whistle sounded and stopped at the door. Who is this? I quickly ran to the window to look. Ha! My heart was beating even harder. I didn't even bother to change my slippers and hurried downstairs to meet my lover, Zhong Qian. At the same time, I felt that he had come by car specially. 有些忐忑不安的心情。他见我迎下楼来，似乎有些惊奇的，呵的一声：“你不曾出去吗？”他低声的问。我们一面说着话，已经上了楼。当他坐下时，他忽然低下头，沉默起来。我挨近他。Feeling a little uneasy, when he saw me coming downstairs, he seemed to be surprised and said, "Have you ever gone out?" He asked in a low voice. We went upstairs while talking. When he sat down, he suddenly lowered his head and became silent. I'm close to him. 坐在他的倚靠上，我的嘴唇不知不觉落在他的头发上。他似乎已经觉得了，抬起头来向我一笑，道：“你爱我吗？”当然，我知道仲谦他是深爱着他的妻的。现在仲谦不能以整个的身心属于我。Sitting on the back of his chair, my lips fell on his hair unconsciously, and he seemed to have noticed it. He raised his head and smiled at me. Do you love me? Of course, I know that Zhong Qian loves his wife deeply, but now Zhong Qian cannot belong to me with his whole body and mind. 那不是中签的错。也许在他的妻看来，我还是破坏他们美满家庭的罪人呢、啊。但是这是理智告诉我的。我的感情呢？哎，我的心是赶着酸梗。在这个世界上，我是一个被上帝赋予感情的人。That's not Zhong Qian's fault. Maybe in the eyes of his wife, I am still the sinner who ruined their beautiful family. But this is what my reason tells me. As for my emotions, alas, my heart feels sour and choked. In this world, I am a person endowed with emotions by God. 而我的感情又是专为中签而有的，什么道德法律对于我又有什么关系？哎，相思债未清，别离未又长。这刹那间，我的心是被万把利剑所戳伤，但是我又不能阻止他不去。And my feelings are only for Zhong Qian. What moral laws have nothing to do with me? Alas, the debt of lovesickness has not yet been cleared, and the taste of separation has returned. At this moment, my heart was stabbed by thousands of sharp arrows, but I couldn't stop him from going away. 我除了一双泪眼望着他离开我，我还有什么办法？仲谦见我痴呆的不说一句话，他伸手握住我说：“美娟，你想些什么？那就说不定了。不过支持一年，我仍要出来的。” Apart from watching him leave me with a pair of tearful eyes, what else could I do? Zhong Qian saw that I was stupid and didn't say a word. He stretched out his hand to hold me and said, "May Wan, what are you thinking about? That's not certain, but I will still come out in a year at the latest." 
，你知道我是把生命交付给国家的，只要我母亲略略健忘，我就回来的。我是明白的，不过我觉得我没有资格接受你这样纯挚的爱。哦，你就要回去吗？什么时候来呢？你还不明白吗 ？You know that I gave my life to the country. As long as my mother is slightly healthy, I will come back. I understand, but I feel that I am not qualified to accept your pure love. Oh, are you going back? When will you come? Don't you understand yet? I 简直不知道怎样说才好。这世界上的几个字、几句话，无论如何不能表示我对于你热烈的心情的。不曾，但是你若不来，我就要去看你了。不想什么，顶好，美娟。I simply don't know how to say it. A few words or sentences in this world cannot express my warm feelings for you. No, but if you don't come, I'm going to see you. Don't think about anything. It's best, May Wan. 我接到家里信说，说母亲近来身体多病，要我回去看看，所以我今晚就乘船回去了。不想什么。十月七日，中间昨夜果然走了，我曾亲自送他上船。I received a letter from home saying that my mother has been ill recently and asked me to go back and take a look, so I took the boat back tonight. Don't think about anything. October seventh. Zhong Qian left last night as expected. I personally escorted him to the ship. When I saw the Huang Pu Tan in the Daozimen, at 12 o'clock, Zhong Qian again took me back. I sat on the deck of the ship, looking at the waves that were rising and falling. My tears were continuous, falling on the deck. This is a small tear of a little sigh, but I was thinking of death. When I saw the big self-ringing clock on Huangpu Beach pointing to twelve o'clock, Zhong Qian urged me to go back again and again. I leaned on the railing of the boat and watched the rolling river flow, and my small tears kept falling on it. Although this is a small drop of tear from someone else, I think about it fondly. He can save my love back to his home. 不久，他又把他送到我的怀抱里来。再会吧，美娟，望你为国家努力，自己多多保重。仲谦送我下扶梯，这时电车已经停止开驰。It can accompany my lover back to his hometown, and soon it will bring him to my arms. Goodbye, May Wan. I hope you will work hard for the country and take care of yourself. Zhong Qian saw me off the escalator. By then, the tram had stopped running. This hot and bustling Huang Pu Tan, although it is still a fire in the dark, has hardly any visitors. I walked slowly across the road, and then took a taxi back to my home. At that moment, I was like I was dreaming of a dream. Although the lively Huangpu Beach is still brightly lit, there are not many pedestrians anymore. I walked across the road in the cold, then hired a rickshaw to return home. At this time, I really felt like I had a dream. I don't believe that the man who slept in my arms last night is still on the Changjiang Road. This boat has just arrived in Pujang. My heart has always been sad. 我不明白世界上怎么会有这样纠纷的局面。我为什么一定要爱他 ？I don't believe that Zhong Qian, who slept in my arms the night before, is already on the Yangtze River ship today. The ship must have left the Pujiang River by now. My heart has always been sad. I don't understand how there is such a dispute in the world. Why do I have to love him? 我也想解脱，但这只是骗人的把戏。今天能解脱，当初就不至于作茧自缚了。
，爱情真是太神秘了。十月八日，天公故意戏弄人，这两天阴雨连绵，一点点，一丝丝敲在心上，滴在心上。I also want to be freed, but this is just a trick. If I can be freed today, I won't be trapped in a cocoon in the first place. Love is so mysterious. October eighth. God is deliberately teasing people. It has been raining continuously for the past two days, bit by bit, knocking and dripping on my heart. 都仿佛是离人眼中的泪珠呢。我懒，奄奄不想起床。也不想吃东西。早晨文天来找我去开会，我推病辞去了。哎，像我这种心情，什么事负担得起？一床薄罗被压在我身上，都有些经不起呢。They all seemed like tears in Li Ren's eyes. I was too lazy to get up and didn't want to eat. When Tian came to see me for a meeting in the morning, but I excused myself. Well, with my mood, what can I afford? The thin bed was pressed against me, and I couldn't bear it. 中午勉强起来，吃了一块面包和一杯牛奶。我想给仲谦写信，摊开信笺，更觉得心头乱如麻。但是我想，除了写信给仲谦，更无法消遣这苦闷的日子了。最后，我的信是写好了。路如下 I reluctantly got up at noon and ate a piece of bread and a glass of milk. I wanted to write a letter to Zhong Qian, and when I opened the letter, I felt even more confused. But I thought there was no way I could entertain myself in these depressing days except writing to Zhong Qian. Finally, my letter was written and recorded as follows. 亲爱的仲谦。江头话别，回来时冷月照孤影，泪眼望江湖，这心情真是难写难描。但觉世界太荒凉，人生如浮鸥，这刹那间没有雄心壮志，只有病的身，负了伤的心，在人间苦挣扎罢了。Dear Zhong Qian, Jiang Tu said goodbye, and when he came back, the cold moon shone on his lonely figure. And he looked at the rivers and lakes with tears. This feeling is really hard to describe, but I feel that the world is too desolate and life is like a floating gull. At this moment, there is no ambition, only a sick body and a wounded body. The heart is just struggling in this world. 继承你现在已过了武汉，再有两天就可以到家了。遥想令尊堂以门含笑欢迎你这远路归来的爱子是如何的神圣而甜蜜呢？至于你的爱妻，我想她一定是更热烈的欢迎你。You have passed Wuhan now, and you will be home in two days. I think how sacred and sweet it is for your father-in-law to lean against the door and smile to welcome your beloved son who has returned from a long journey. As for your beloved wife, I think she must welcome you even more warmly. 为你整理腹泻的行装，问你课中的情况。哎，仲谦，这时节你也许要想到我，不过那只是如昙花的一现。一个情妇在你心头究竟是占有什么地位呢？哎，仲谦，我很伤心，我太变瞎。I'll pack your newly unloaded luggage and ask you how things are going with your guests. Alas, Zhong Qian, you may think of me at this time, but it's just a flash in the pan. What position does a mistress occupy in your heart? Oh, Zhong Qian, I am very sad. I am too narrow-minded. You love your beloved wife is right. I am not allowed to interfere. 而且她又是一个就是女子，我更应当同情她。仲谦，你诚心诚意的爱她吧，不要为了我在你俩之间稍有云翳。我祈祷上帝给你们美满的生活。You should love your beloved wife, 
I should not challenge you, and she is an old-fashioned woman, so I should sympathize with her. Zhong Qian, love her sincerely, and don't let anything get in the way between you two because of me. I pray to God to give you a happy life. 正如秋月照临的夜,又幽默,又清静。你的美娟,我信是写完了,但是我心头依然是梗色着,当然我是有不可告人的贪心。我不能想象我的爱人是被抱在别一个女子的怀抱里,那真是侮辱。Just like the night when the autumn moon shines, it is humorous and pure. Your Mei Wan. I have finished writing the letter, but my heart is still choked. Of course I have ulterior greed. I can't imagine my lover being held in the arms of another woman, that's really insulting. No,简直是一种死刑,哎,最后我只有伏在枕上流泪了。10月15日,中前到家了,他今天有一封信来,他写着。美娟,一到家,我就接到你的来信,我对于你只有惭愧,但是我不愿骗你。No, it was simply a death sentence. Well, in the end, I could only cry on the pillow. October 15th. Zhong Qian got home. He had a letter today. He wrote. Mei Wan. I received your letter as soon as I got home. I am only ashamed of you, but I don't want to lie to you. My wife really loves me so much. She serves my two elders and caresses my children so pure and tenderly, and she has no complaints or regrets about me wandering around outside for years. Mei Wan, what do you think? Woman, how can I bear to leave her? But I don't abandon her, and I can't help but feel sorry for you. You are a highly educated woman, you have pure passion and a great future. Just for a small person like me, you sacrificed your reputation, status, and legal rights. How can I stand up to you, so may Wan? 我希望在我离开你的这一年中，你能为事业而解脱，另外找一个知心的伴侣，共同过幸福的生活。这是我朝夕所祈祷的。美娟，你接受了我的忠恳之言吧。仲谦实在是个好人。I hope that during the year I leave you, you can be free from your career. Find a close partner, and live a happy life together. This is what I pray for day and night, Mei Wan, you accept my loyalty. Say it. Zhong Qian is really a good person. Tabu 爱他的人格,爱他的忠实,总而言之,除了世上,还有一个重签。He is not a selfish or hypocritical man, and his advice to me was not a good one, but how could he know that his loyalty and frankness made it even more difficult for me to let him go? I love his demeanor, his personality, and his loyalty. All in all, there is another Zhong Qian in the world. 也许可以改变我的心,不然这一生,我无论受何苦难,也难从我的心坎中把重钱赶掉。上帝啊! 
给我最大的勇气，在人间浅薄的人间辟一条光明的、神奇的道路。Maybe I can change my heart. Otherwise, no matter how much suffering I suffer in this life, it will be difficult to get Zhong Qian out of my heart. God, give me the greatest courage to open up a bright and magical road in the human world, the shallow human world. 人们只知在定见下讨日子过，我只尊重我的自我，完成我理想中的爱的伟大。今天我的心情比较爽快，我把心坎中的纠纷用一把至情的利剑斩断了。People only know how to live their lives under their own opinions. I only respect myself and realize the greatness of love in my ideal. Today I am in a more cheerful mood. I have cut off the disputes in my heart with a sharp sword of love. From now on, I only exercise the skill of nurturing my ideal to nurture the love of the world. What is the matter? On September 20th, I have the confidence of a man who is not a fool. I have the passion of a romantic poet. I have the passion of a romantic poet. I have the passion of a romantic poet. From now on, I will only do my best to cultivate my ideal love. Why should the world criticize me? October twentieth. Alas, I am confident that I am not a vulgar person. I have the unrestrained enthusiasm of the romantic poets, and I also have their unrealistic fantasies. I want to break the barriers of human imagination. 安置我的灵魂在另一个世界上，这是我一向的自信。但是惭愧啊，昨夜文天来，他坐在冷月的光影里，更显得他严肃面容的可怕，好像他是负了整个世界。I want to break through the stubborn barriers of this world and place my soul in another world. This is the confidence I have always had, but I am ashamed. Last night when Tian came, and he sat in the light and shadow of the cold moon, his serious face looked even more terrifying, as if he had let the whole world down. 整个人类的使命来向我劝告。他一双装满理智、带有残酷意味、深沉的眼，是那样不放松的盯着我。同时，他的语调是那样沉重。他说：“美娟。” The mission of the entire human race came to advise me. His deep eyes, full of reason, with residual meaning, stared at me so unrelaxed, and his tone was so heavy. He said, "Mei Wan, you now you should be aware of your relationship with Zhong Qian." 不能再延长下去。这不但对于你不利，尤其是对于众千不利。许多平日和他意见不对的人，正纷纷击谈着他同你的恋爱。他的话像是一座冰山，满是坚峻的冰山。It cannot be extended any longer. This will not only be detrimental to you, but especially to Zhong Qian. Many people who usually have different opinions with him are ridiculing his love affair with you. His words were like an iceberg, full of sharp icebergs. From 半天空坠压在我的头上、心上，我除了咬紧牙关，不使那颤抖发出声来，而我的两手抽搐着，这样矜持了许久，我到底让身服心底的愤怒由我的言语里发泄出来了。当然，我不能哭。The fall from the sky fell on my head and heart. I gritted my teeth to prevent the trembling from making a sound, and my hands twitched. After being reserved like this for a long time, I finally let the anger deep in my heart come out. It came out in my words. Of course, I can't cry. 我把泪滴咽到肚子里去。我急促地说：“怎么，我连恋爱的自由都没有吗？众千爱了我，便是不道德、卑贱吗？我实在不能反对文天的话
，而且我相信他是个忠于团体、忠于国家的好同志。I swallowed the tears into my stomach and said hastily, "Why don't I even have the freedom to fall in love? If Zhong Qian loves me, is it immoral and despicable?" I really can't object to Wen Tian's words, and I believe he is a good comrade who is loyal to the group and the country. 不幸就是他有时不能稍替我想想。哎，人类之间的谅解本来是有限的，我何能独责于他呢？当时我曾鼓起勇气对他说道：“好吧，让我试试看。”他听了这话，连忙站起来。握着我的手说道：“美娟。” Unfortunately, he can't think of me sometimes. Alas, the understanding between human beings is inherently limited. How can I blame him alone? At that time, I mustered up the courage and said to him, "Okay, let me try it." After hearing this, he stood up quickly, held my hand, and said, "Mei Wan." 我愿尽我的全力帮助你。他含着满意的微笑，闪出门外。我莫名其妙地跟着他的脚踪，直走到楼梯边，我才站住了。仰头看见澄澈的秋空，无云无雾，一道银河横亘东西。I am willing to do my best to help you. He flashed out the door with a satisfied smile. I followed his footsteps inexplicably until I reached the stairs, and then I stopped. Looking up, I saw the clear autumn sky, without clouds or fog, and a Milky Way stretching from east to west. 如同一座白玉的桥梁，星点参差，围绕着那半弯新月，静清如水，映衬出我这如乱麻般的心情了。自然，我也知道你很痛苦。不过，你是有意志、有知识的女子，我望你能完成爱的最高形式。Like a white jade bridge, the stars are scattered around the half-curved crescent moon. The environment is as clear as water, which further highlights my messy mood. Of course, I also know that you are in pain. But you are a woman with will and knowledge. I hope you can achieve the highest form of love. 为国家牺牲些，把爱重千的热情去爱国爱团体。美娟不是这么说，并没有谁干涉你的恋爱，除了重千，你爱任何人都可以。他还是那么固执地、冷刻地往下说。怎么？重谦就不能爱吗 ？Sacrifice yourself for the country and use your passion for Zhongqian to love the country and the community. Mei Wan, that's not what you're saying. No one will interfere with your love. You can love anyone except Zhongqian. He continued so stubbornly and coldly. Dash, why Zhongqian can't love? 我愤然地驳他，可是，美娟，你应当了解仲谦的地位。他是我们团体的负责人，他的一举一动是被万人所注意的。这种浪漫的行为，只有文学家、诗人做作，在他就不能不信。I objected to him angrily, but Mei Wan, you should understand Zhong Qian's status. He is the person in charge of our group. His every move is noticed by thousands of people. This kind of romantic behavior can only be done by writers and poets. He can't do it. He doesn't believe it. You only need to listen to the leaders' opinions to find out that it is not all dark and gloomy. The sun is slowly rising to the horizon. I naturally understand. 他对我说，并不完全是恶意，可是我仍然不明白，同是一个人。As long as you inquire about the arguments of those party members, you will know that I am not fabricating right and wrong out of thin air. 
when Tian's eyes slowly cast into the dark cave. I naturally understood that he was not completely malicious when he said to me, but I still didn't understand that we were the same person. 为了地位便会生出这许多的区别来。我只得问他道：“照你的意思，我应当怎么办呢？”我如鬼影般溜到屋里，向那张遇着月光的床上一倒，我忘了全世界。哎，在那刹那间，我已失了知觉。There are so many differences because of status, so I had to ask him, according to your opinion, what should I do? I slipped into the house like a ghost and fell on the bed bathed in moonlight. I forgot about the whole world. Alas, at that moment I lost consciousness. 十月二十一日,夜深风静,我被那坐响的门窗惊醒了。举眼四望,但见青光照壁,万象苍凉,身上一阵阵寒战, 连忙拖过棉被来盖上,极力闭上眼,但是有什么用呢?越想睡,睡魔越不光临。October 21st It was windy late at night, and I was awakened by the sound of the door and window. He raised his eyes and looked around, only to see green light on the wall, everything was desolate, and his body was shivering. He quickly pulled the quilt to cover it, and tried his best to close his eyes, but what's the use? The more you want to sleep, the less likely the Sandman will come. 悄悄数着更愁,不久东方发白了。弄堂里已有倒变桶的呼声,卖油条的叫卖声,这些杂乱的声音,虽使我觉得不耐烦,但因此倒压下了我的愁思, 竟有些昏然想睡了。朦胧间。Counting more quietly, the east turned white soon. In the alley, there were cries of emptying toilet buckets and cries of sellers of fried dough sticks. Although these chaotic sounds made me feel impatient, they suppressed my worries and made me feel sleepy. In the haze. 似乎有人在叫我。张开眼一看,原来是瑞玲来了,她坐在我的床边,正正地望着我,射如着说道,你的脸色,怎么这样红?她一下伸手摸我的额角,不禁失声叫道,你发烧了。Someone seemed to be calling me. When I opened my eyes, I saw that it was roiling. She was sitting beside my bed, staring at me blankly and whispered, Why is your face so red? He reached out and touched my forehead, and couldn't help shouting, You have a fever. Ruilin wangja wo zhi shi tan qi, ta han le yi bao tong qing lei, di sheng quan wo, kan kai xie. Wo shuo zhe, jin bu zhu yi gu suan lang yong shang xin tou, zhe yi xie xian se de yan lei, zai ye yan bu xia qu le. 我不能怪他不近人情,可是看开些这句话. Ruiling looked at me and just sighed. With tears of sympathy in her eyes, she whispered to me, look away. As I spoke, I couldn't help but a wave of sourness surged into my heart. I couldn't swallow these salty tears anymore. I can't blame her for being unkind. But she said, look at it with a clear mind. 在我实在觉得意态不关痛痒了。一个人要是能看开些,还有生活的趣味吗? 还有生活的力量吗? 无论谁遇到难关时,都已看开些解之,那么这死沉沉的世界再不会有新局面发展了。I really think it's too innocuous. If a person could be more open-minded, would life still be interesting? Is there still power to live? No matter who encounters a difficulty, he or she will respond by taking a more open mind, and then there will be no new developments in this dead world. 
，也就是因为这一点看不开的心，才肯拼命，不惜以一切去奋斗啊。不过，我是明白瑞玲这时候的心情，她无力来解释我的愁结，除了劝我看开些，她还能更说什么呢？ Even revolutionaries are willing to fight tooth and nail and fight at all costs because of this not being able to see through their hearts. However, I understood Ruelling's mood at this time. She was unable to explain my worries. Apart from advising me to look away, what else could she say? So I only could nod to her and accept her good wishes. 发热有什么关系？家事就这样死了，倒免得活受罪呢。下午，瑞玲带了一个医生来看我，说是受了凉，吃了一些发散剂就好了。So I could only nod to her to show that I accepted her kindness. What does having a fever have to do with it? If you die like this, you won't have to suffer the consequences. In the afternoon. Ruiling brought a doctor to see me. He said that I had caught a cold and that I would be fine after taking some dispersant. Ruiling 替我买了些药来，看我吃过，他才样样的回去。我对于他的热情只有流泪啊。十月二十五日，我感冒已经好了。今天试着起来，两只腿觉得无力，仍然不能到外面去。只倚在那张藤椅上。Ruiling bought some medicine for me, and after watching me take it, she went back dejectedly. My passion for her only made me shed tears. October twenty-fifth. I have recovered from my cold. When I tried to get up today, my legs felt weak, and I still couldn't go outside. I just leaned on that wicker chair. 看了几页小说，心潮又陡然涌起，尤其可念远别的中签。我从屉子里找出他的照片，哎，这真是一个绝大的诱惑。这样一个精神俊朗的人，他给我生命的力，给我宇宙上的最美丽。After reading a few pages of the novel, my heart suddenly surged again, especially longing for Zhong Qian to be far away. I found his photo from the drawer. Alas, this is really a great temptation. Such a person with a bright spirit gives me the power of life and the most beautiful thing in the universe. 但这仅仅是昙花一般的愈合，这是谁支配的命运？我对于这命运，应当低头，还是应当反抗到底？人们给我的嘴脸太难看，我是否有勇气承受下去？难道是我的错吗？为了爱情。But this is just a short-lived encounter. Who controls this fate? Should I bow my head to this fate, or should I resist to the end? The faces people give me are too ugly. Do I have the courage to bear it? Is it my fault? For love. 而爱一个有地位、有妻子的男人是罪恶呢，还是灾殃？哎，这是一些我到死也难解的谜药。仲谦今天有信来，他是那样轻描淡写的劝慰我。当然，我也不能怪他太薄情。原是我爱他。And is it a sin or a disaster to love a man with status and a wife? Alas, these are mysteries that I will never be able to solve until my death. Zhong Qian received a letter today, and he comforted me so lightly. Of course, I can't blame him for being too callous. It turns out that I love him. He 并不曾起意爱我。就是有些爱也是太可怜，他不愿背着这艰辛的爱的担子自食人情，但我呢，寄居绝大的决心爱他，我就当爱他到底。纵然爱能使我死，我也不当皱眉啊！最可恨的爱。
He never meant to love me, even some love is too pitiful. It's only natural that he doesn't want to carry the burden of hard love, but as for me, since I have the utmost determination to love him, I should love him to the end. Even if love can kill me, I shouldn't frown. The most hateful love. 这个东西是这样复杂，灵魂不够，还要肉体，不然我就爱他一辈子。谁又能批评我呢？这几天在我心里起了大屠杀，结果胜负属谁，连我自己也不敢推测。连十一月三日 ，This thing is so complicated. The soul is not enough, but the body is also needed. Otherwise. I will love him forever. Who can criticize me? There has been a carnage in my heart these days. I don't even dare to guess who will win or lose in the end. November third. 文天今日带了一个同志来看我，他是从东北归来的，在他风尘仆仆的面容上，使我感到一些新的刺激。后来听他述说东北同胞在枪林弹雨中的苦挣扎和敌人的残暴种种。When Tian brought a comrade to see me today, he came back from the northeast. I felt some new excitement in his travel-stained face. Later, I heard him talk about the hardships of the northeastern compatriots in the rain of bullets and the brutality of the enemy. 愤怒悲慨的火焰差不多要烧毁我的灵宫，同时我觉得有点惭愧。这一项我几乎忘记了国家，更忘记了东北。一天到晚极注全力在求个人心的解放，哎，这是多么自私啊 ！The flames of anger and sorrow almost burned down my spiritual palace. At the same time. I feel a little ashamed. I have almost forgotten the country, let alone the northeast. Concentrate on seeking the liberation of your personal heart day and night. Alas, how selfish this is! I can't stop crying out in pain. The Wen-Tian family has gone. I have been thinking for half an hour. I decided to change my life course. 我不但对于至上的爱要勇敢，我对于正义更应当勇敢。I couldn't help but shed tears of shame. After when Tian and the others left, I thought about it alone for a long time and decided to change the way I lived. Not only should I be brave for supreme love, I should also be brave for justice. 这时，我觉得愁惨的灵魂已闪着微微的光芒了。听闻天说，我们团体里要派一部分人到前线去工作，尤其需要一部分女同志做救护的事情。我应当去，这是我唯一的出路。At this time, I felt that my miserable soul was shining slightly. I heard from Wen Tian that some people from our group should be sent to the front line to work, especially some lesbians are needed to do rescue work. I should go; it's my only way out. 也是众千所盼望的吧。十一月五日，一切都已准备了。我已决定同他们一同去，去到那冰天雪地里和残暴的敌人相周旋。我要完成至上的爱，不只爱众千，更应当爱我的祖国。This is also what Zhong Qian hopes for. November fifth. Everything is ready, and I have decided to go with them to go into the ice and snow and deal with the brutal enemy. I want to realize the supreme love, not only love Zhong Qian, but also my motherland. 今夜是我在上海的最后一夜了，也许便是此生最后的一夜呢。哎，我留恋吗？不，绝不。这里的街道固然这么整齐，建筑这么富丽。
可是那里面含有绝大的耻辱，我不愿再看见它。Tonight is my last night in Shanghai. Maybe it's the last night of this life. Well, am I nostalgic? No, absolutely. Although the streets here are so neat and the buildings are so gorgeous, there is a huge shame in them. I don't want to see it again. 即使还有回来的日子，我也盼倒着，同胞们已用纯洁的、热烈的鲜血洗净了这耻辱。我站在窗前，向着那半已凋残的秋树，祝他未来的新生。街道上。车声人声渐渐寂静了，我坐下来。Even if there is still a day to come back, I still hope and pray that my compatriots have washed away this shame with pure and passionate blood. I stood in front of the window, looking at the half-withered autumn tree, wishing it a new life in the future. On the street, the sound of cars and people gradually became silent. I sit down. 铺上一张雪白的云间，拔出一管新开的羊毫，刺破了左手的无名指，使那鲜红、绮丽的血全滴在一只白玉盏里，然后把预备好的纱布包扎停当。于是如豪伸直写道：“朱五千，我的信仰者。” Spread a piece of snow white cloud paper. Pull out a tube of newly opened sheep hair. Prick the ring finger of the left hand. Let the bright red and beautiful blood drip all into a white jade cup, and then wrap the prepared gauze. When he was ready, he took out the paper and wrote, "Zhong Qian, my believer." In the cold, winter world, you are like the sun in the sky, and you are like the sun in the sky. You have captured me from that time. 我虔诚地做你的俘虏，这当然得不到一切人的谅解，可是我仍然什么都不顾忌。In the cold and gloomy world, you are like the sun in winter, and like a lighthouse in the sea of fire. You have deeply tempted me. From then on, I have been your captive religiously. Of course, this is not understood by everyone, but I still don't care about anything. 闯开了礼教的藩篱，打破人间的成见，来完成我所信仰的爱，这能不算是稀有的奇迹吗？但是，众千古人说的好，好梦由来醉一醒，这一段美丽的幻想已成了生命史上的一页了。Breaking through the barriers of ethics and religion, breaking the prejudices of the world, and realizing the love I believe in. Can this not be considered a rare miracle? However, Zhong Qian, the ancient, said, "Well, good dreams are the easiest to wake up from. This beautiful fantasy has become a page in the history of life." Now I know that I am not yet great enough to wake up from the shame of having fallen for someone else. So I cannot let this go. 我要找光明的路走，当然你想得出我将往何处去的。好，众千，我们彼此被释放了。Now I realize that I am not great enough, and bleeding for personal happiness would be too selfish and despicable. So I can't bear it any longer. I want to find a bright path. Of course, you can figure out where I will go. Okay. Zhongqian, we are freed from each other. 好自为国家努力吧，一切详情我到东北后再报告你。美娟，这一夜血迹淋滴的信写成时，我内心充满了伟大的喜悦。So work hard for your country. It'll tell you all the details after I get to northeast China. Mei Wan. When I wrote this bloody letter, my heart was.